friends today i'm going to read a book called the grouchy ladybug the title of the book is the grouchy ladybug and the author is eric gall author is a person who writes the books the grouchy ladybug It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in front, in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right it too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. Mm, that's not very nice. She's grouchy. You know what grouchy means? A grouchy means when a person is not very happy and a bit rude. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight for them? Oh, she's being a mean, little mean today. Let's find out what's going to happen next. If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It took less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew away. Let's see who's going to come next. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew away. At eight o'clock, it came across a prey mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the prey mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew away. Who's next? Oh, at nine o'clock, it almost fell into a sparrow. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew away. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug. What is he going to say? Wants to fight? If you said, if you insist, said the lobster, stretching his claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew away. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Skunks are a bit stinky. Ah. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, no. You're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa, boa constrictor. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And off it flew. Oh, a hyena. Ooh, this looks big. Let's find out. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said hyena, La laughing early and
and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Gorillas are really, really huge. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. Do you think gorillas are big? I think so, yeah. Look at the size of the gorilla. And look at the ladybug, so tiny. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. That's a tricky word. People also call them rhinos. Hey, you said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. I wonder which animal is gonna be next? Oh yeah, I guess some of you guessed it. It's an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing his big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, wanna fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. Whoa. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug sa uh, said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. Oh, look at the size of this whale. So huge. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer again. So it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, hey, you want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a whoosh, slap. And it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some apples left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybug. Well, that's nice. She finally said thank you. Soon all the apples were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs and they went to sleep. The fireflies who had been sleeping all day came out to dance around the moon. That's the end of the story.